Right, I'm at Mildam Park. It's uh, quarter to five on Saturday, 12th of May. And I've come to see what's happened in the last few hours. First of all, we're greeted by a catch. We've been waiting for this hoop, which is very successful. We've got one on the other gate, but this one we've had put in by um, Peter Clark, who is the, he's the park's engineer for the whole of South Leighton District Council. So he manages tens and tens of parks. And he's come and put this in specially. I, we only contacted uh, him in on Tuesday, and it was installed on Thursday. Amazing speed. And we'll see something else that we've done as a result of him. But looking round, we've um, done some weeding. We've um, supported sweet peas. These beds haven't had a lot done because they were in pretty good condition anyway. Um, you'll notice these um, paving stones. A lot of people didn't realise they were there and they look really dramatic. Um, now Richard did uh, most of that. That was his idea. Um, and we go along and we've got this, these um, sweet peas have got supports now and we're aiming to get them to grow up as high as possible before allowing them to bloom and spread. We've got a new piece of pottery here um, and that's the owl and Jane put that in. She turned up by accident, comes from Swarthmore and immediately pitched in and started helping. We've got really good compost. Now this compost has come from somebody's uh, backyard and has been um, rotting away for the last three or four years and it's beautiful stuff absolutely rich beautiful stuff when we came here there were no flowers at all and if you still dig there's some of the rocks that we're still digging up there's plenty there to be found rocks plenty of rocks and they're all underground here and we gradually change this into wonderful soil that uh, where flowers will thrive this is going to be really good. We'd like some more compost because we're going to have a whole lot of um, bedding plants um, given to us by Dave, who has the market store in, um, in the, uh, Olverston Market. He um, will give us his surplus stock in June in order to uh, add yet more colour to the, to the park. We've got um, wallflowers that are on their second year now and looking good. Uh, along here you won't have noticed but we've got 40 pea plants as well as the sweet pea. We've got pea, real peas so people will be coming and uh, having a little snack as they come into the park. And here's some fennel. Um, somewhere or other some nicotinia if I pronounce it right. Um, that was also given us today. Here we've had um, loads of weeding being done. Um, these are looking, um, beginning to look good. There's some stones that uh, haven't been shifted yet, but they've all been dug out of the ground. And here, this is totally transformed, this bed. Um, weeds have been taken out. Ruth worked through that pile there and got all the um, couch grass out of it. So that's some soil to be put spread around to um, encourage all these other plants to grow. That's a, a lovely resource to have. All the um, daffodils and tulips have been deadheaded. I say all because I can just see one or two that have been missed. Here's one and there's another. Um, so we're hoping to get really strong bulbs in the ground. <clears throat> Coming along here, deadheading, deadheading being done. We got a new supply of uh, turf that we hope will rot down, um, so we can use this in the in the beds in the future. A uh, pile of weeds here that haven't been shifted, tidied up yet. Well, that's some one of the nicotinia, nic tobacco plant. It's got a nice flower and it uh, smells good. But over here is a completely new addition, and we've got um, a wonderful bench. And my, is it strong. Um, uh, again, Peter Clark provided the timber 
and we um, have um, drilled the holes and got the bolts and installed it making this um, fantastic bench and we have a photograph of what it was like beforehand um, which was just one plank and it's been like that for two years we were promised materials to do this two years ago and finally thanks to uh, Peter Clark and a phone and a, an email on Tuesday it there it is so um, fantastic service then some more of these uh, um, paving stones showing up and I, rem I noticed earlier on a lot of the weeding along the edge of this these timber has been done somebody was coming along here with a trowel cleaning it all up and looks very smart um, earlier on we had uh, cups of tea we um, boiled a kettle it took a while to do but we got there and we got some fennel going along here um, all this has been dug over and uh, weeded um, so overall there's been quite a transformation this is what uh, what it was like beforehand. It, this bit hasn't been weeded. Um, this has been dug over and weeded, compost put down, and uh, we've just gone full circuit. We still have um, three picnic tables, all they were in full use. We had people up there on the on the bench, up there. We had people over here on the picnic table, and people over here as well. Um, so, one might say it was a fantastic day. 50 people were involved here. A lot of chatting went on, a lot of the kids played with each other. Um, a, lot, a lot of new friendships were made. And uh, here we've got a cat um, who comes and checks out um, what's been going on. Um, he had, uh, or she, had a, a right chase earlier on when a dog came in here and uh, should have seen both of them move um, but there was no problem off she was up a, a tree uh, over a wall and uh, she's a very friendly cat and it's lovely to have her come in here and check us out and she looks like she's found something to eat that could be the biscuits that we were having earlier 